Hi, I'm Max, and today I will show you how to work with Tonix databases, or libraries. When you open Tonix it looks into your documents folder for a file named library.db, where db means database. It contains every information about the profiles you downloaded on ToneNet as well as the IK Premium profiles. There are nearly 20,000 tone models available on ToneNet, and you probably grabbed a lot of them over time, making Tonix gradually slower to start. Tonix is not very efficient for managing profiles. With two free and relatively simple tools, you can really optimize your experience. They are Tonex DB Explorer by Code FN42 and SQLite Studio by SQLite Studio. Links in the description below. The goal of this tutorial is to be able to 1. Create multiple different databases to suit different needs. 2. Delete and batch tone models you don't want anymore to reduce loading times and unbloat your list. 3. And most importantly, move profiles from one database to another. I personally download each day every new profile released in a separate database to try them later avoiding Tone.net slow workflow. Plus, if I were to look for different kinds of profiles in the future, I have them all easily accessible. Without further ado, let's get right to it. The databases in Tonex. Here is the documents IK Multimedia Tonex folder. You can see the famous library.db file, as well as a new profiles.db file. Library.db is the database Tonex reads when used, and in which I keep every profile I like so far. Newprofiles.db is the database I use for my daily download of new released profiles on ToneNet. I work with multiple databases, but you don't need to if you don't feel like it. You can as well download directly all new profiles in your main library, which is a totally fine scenario for this tutorial, you will spare a few steps in the process, it's just not ideal to my taste. Now let's download some profiles. First, I'm gonna rename library.db to librarymain.db, so I keep track of which file is which. Then, I rename newprofiles.db to library.db. Now, when I open Tonex, my download database will be read instead of my main one. To ToneNet we go. When I'm done, I just reverse the process to go back to library.db and newprofiles.db. But I won't do it just yet, because now it's time to sort the 2K plus tone models I downloaded in the last 50 days or so. Before proceeding, please do a backup of your library.db file. You will delete profiles, and you may want to save them for the future, you never know. And if something goes wrong, you don't want to lose hours of work. Trimming the DB with Tonex DB Explorer. Once done, it's time to open Tonex DB Explorer. This software reads the library.db file only, like Tonex. Every tone model, preset and IR that shows up in Tonex is listed here. You can filter and sort everything the way you want, it's a brilliant software. First, you need to go to the presets tab and delete everything here. Most likely there won't be anything, but if there is, it will prevent some tone models to be deleted. For example, my metalhead wants to keep only high gain amp and cab and complex rig profiles. So I will sort by character, and will delete every profile that doesn't match my criterias. Go all the way above, click on the first clean line, scroll until the first high gain line, hold shift key and click on the line just above. Now, every clean, drive and fuzzy profile has been selected. Right click, delete, confirm, and they're gone. Or, not. Why am I having an error message? Tonex always loads the black Angus profile when starting. Tonex DB Explorer knows it, and protected this profile from being deleted, thus breaking Tonex. But the other selected profiles have actually gone. Proceed the same way for the bottom part of the list. You're left with high gain profiles only. You can then sort by type, and delete everything that is not amp and cab or complex rig. You can even go further and for example delete profiles of amps you don't want. Just sort by amp based on and proceed like before. The possibilities are endless. You spent one minute instead of an eternity working your way in Tonex directly. But what if the database you're working on contains profiles that are already in your main playing database? Sort by date, locate the latest release tone model that is part of your main database. Select it with all the older profiles, then delete.
But what if you finally want to add clean or dry profiles as well after having done all the work for high gain ones? That's why you did a backup before opening Tonex DB Explorer. Go again to your documents folder, rename your library.db into something like newhagain.db. Make a copy of your backup that you'll rename library.db. Then proceed like we already did. Or you can do everything simultaneously from the beginning, the choice is yours. Selecting the profiles to import into your main DB. The trimming is done, you only have a few hundreds of profiles left, now it's time to grab the nearest guitar of yours. Open Tonex, play all the damn profiles, and mark as favorites the ones of your dreams, simple as that. By the way, you should always mark as favorite each and every one of the profiles in your main database. So that when you don't like some anymore, you can unmark them and you'll understand why in the next step. Once done, close Tonex. Go back to DB Explorer. Sort by favorite and delete everything that has no star. That's it, now your database contains only the profiles you're about to import in your main database, plus Black Angus. Before proceeding, do a backup of your current library.db file to something like beforeimport.db. Import new profiles and shrink the DB with SQ Light Studio. At this point, make sure .db files are associated with SQ Light Studio. In Windows Explorer, double-click on library.db. If SQLite Studio doesn't open, locate the default program in Program Files SQLite Studio. Once opened, you can see your library on the left panel. Go back to your Documents folder and double-click on Library Main.db. Now you can see both databases are on the left panel. First thing to do is a vacuum command. When you delete profiles, the lines don't disappear from the database, they cause unnecessary wait and load time, see the size of my library.db? Click on the SQL Editor button, write vacuum on line 1 and click the play icon. Do the same with both databases. You can select them just next to the play button. Now see the new file size. Double-click on the Tone Models table of library and go to the Structure tab. First thing I like to do is delete visible NCS Encrypt and factory lines if they are there. Then validate with the green check button and do the same for library main. These columns take space and their absence have no impact on how Tonex runs. It will recreate them anyway at next launch, but with blank data, so the DB lost some weight anyway. Then head into the Datas tab of Library. Yuck, that's horrible. Locate the Black Angus profile with the filter search bar. Select the line, delete it with the red minus button, and validate the changes with the green check button. See how many lines are on the list and write down that number. If you're on a huge database, know that each page contains 1000 lines so you will work 1000 after 1000. But it's not the point of this whole tutorial to be left with several thousands of lines, is it? Select everything with a good old Ctrl plus A and hit Ctrl plus C. Then head to the Datas tab of Library Main. Click the down arrow next to the green plus icon, make sure the new lines are placed in the end of the view. Then click again on the arrow, insert multiple lines, and enter the number of lines you wrote down some seconds ago. You're then brought to the bottom with X empty lines added. Click on the first cell of the first new line, hit Ctrl plus V, click on the green check button, and that's it, your new profiles are successfully imported into your main database. If some lines are suddenly highlighted in red, they are duplicates. Simply delete them and validate again. Last step, go back to your Documents folder. Rename library.db to something like imported.db and library main to library.db. Open Tonex and see for yourself. If everything's okay, you can delete imported.db and before import.db. Bonus, removing profiles you don't like anymore. With time you started disliking some profiles. Like I said before, you should always mark as favorite every profile of your main library. That way, when you decide to throw away a profile, you just have to remove the star in Tonex. 
When you have removed a bunch, close Tonex, open DB Explorer, sort by favorite, and delete everything that has no star. Once done, open your library.db in SQLite Studio, go to the SQL editor, and do a vacuum. It just took you 30 seconds. I cannot cover every possible usage. Once you got how both softwares work you should be able to think outside the box and find tricks by yourself. I tried to give you hints on how much Tonic's databases can be exploited in many ways. It just requires a little bit of work as well as imagination. That said, I am done with this tutorial. I hope it was useful and easy enough to understand. If you need further explanations or some other ways to work with your databases, feel free to comment and I'll do my best to answer as much as I can. Thanks for watching, enjoy Tonics, and see you later!